This is the first pandemic caused by a coronavirus. March 11th, 2020. Many will remember it as the day the coronavirus outbreak was declared a global pandemic. But at least five weeks before this announcement, the World Health Organization raised the alarm on another crisis. What we do is really uh, first acknowledge that this infodemic exists and needs a specific uh, treatment. And, uh, and this treatment is not uh, uh, easy because it requires a lot of global collaboration. Misleading and sometimes convincing pieces of information have spread faster than COVID-19 itself. They've ranged from conspiracy theories to quack cures. In India, for example, some politicians have advocated a traditional yet questionable remedy of cow urine. Coronavirus is also a bacteria and cow urine is effective against all the forms of bacteria that harm us. Meanwhile, hundreds have died from alcohol poisoning in Iran, where ironically, alcoholic beverages are illegal. Some people falsely thought that drinking alcohol could disinfect their bodies. Some social networks also promoted this. This led to multi-organ failure. In Europe, a 5G conspiracy theory spread like wildfire, with claims that signals carried by radio waves are responsible for the coronavirus. But experts have dismissed the claims. It's nonsense. It's the worst kind of fake news. The reality is that the mobile phone networks are absolutely critical to all of us, particularly in a time when we are asking people to stay at home uh, and to um, not see uh, relatives and, and friends. Many have likened the coronavirus outbreak to a war. And misinformation amid the battle has fueled fear, from panic buying to xenophobia. It's become a fight on many fronts, beyond hospital beds and quarantined homes. A duel between contagions, a pandemic versus an infodemic. Jen Kwan, CGTN.